You're listening to The Breakfast Club on Easy Rock AM 800 in Penticton. One of the very early hits for the new kids on the block. Please don't go, girl. From the new kids on the block, our guest this morning on The Breakfast Club, Jordan Knight. And Jordan is a guy that's he's on CBC right now with Cover Me Canada, uh, still touring with the new kids on the block. He's got a solo career. He's a dad. And Jordan, i got to know right off the top, uh, how are you able to uh, to do all of this? Uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. But, um, you know, it's a lot of fun. Doing the show, is, it's, it's kind of like two days out of the week. So right now I'm, doing, I'm, I'm going up to uh, Toronto on Saturday evening, uh, doing the show all day Sunday and, and doing some press Monday and then taking off. And then I come back home and, uh, you know, we, uh, then I'm a hockey dad for a few months. And then <laughs> I go back on tour with the new kids. And uh-huh. all in the meantime, I'm also, you know, doing solo gigs and uh, solo promotion. So it, it's not easy, but it's it's just so much fun. That's 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 what gets me through it all. Now, I was going to say, you know, speaking of fun, this TV show, Cover Me Canada, that's got to be a lot of fun to do, hey? Um, it is fun because um, one of the well, one of the good things about it is that we're able to give feedback to up and coming artists that that have a lot of talent. So you know, to kind of be able to help them, mold them, shape them, and, um, you know, that, that feels good. It's also cool to see, uh, you know, I've never done a show like this, so to, to see the behind-the-scenes kind of stuff and how it's made and, you know, to be in the control room and, and talk about the show beforehand with the producers and see how it's going, all that kind of stuff. It's really, um, it's really fascinating. And, and, Jordan, there are a lot of uh, sort of different uh, music shows out there but you're right, this one is different. There's, uh, what, eight acts that have come together, and each and every yep. week they're given the chore of covering a Canadian classic, right? That's right, yes. So they cover a Canadian classic, and then the judges, um, you know, judge them on, you know, uh, showmanship, uh, on creativity of the cover, on, um, you know, vocal ability, you know, musicianship, and all that kind of stuff. So, um but the but the good thing about this show is that the public, the general public, could give you know every week they can give one band immunity, so mm-hmm. the judges cannot vote them off the show. So that's the fun thing about this show, and that um, it's connected to social media. So if you follow your favorite group, if you like your favorite group on Facebook, if you view your favorite group on YouTube, um, those things are all tallied up, and the 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 group with the most points or tallies or whatever, um, they have immunity that week. So if you have a favorite group, anybody out there who watches Cover Me Canada, if you have a favorite group, make sure you check them out on any social media um, and you can give them immunity from us. Excellent. I was going to say, too, here out in B.C., we've had a chance in our area uh, to see Allie Milner perform. So put it out there for our uh, B.C. listeners that if you want to keep Allie around, she's done a good job. Uh, that's certainly uh, one of the artists right there from our area. And, and for yourself, Jordan, uh, what sort of things do you look for as a judge? Because there's you, there's Deborah Cox, and mm-hmm. record executive uh, Ron Fair. And Ron seems to be a little tougher on the bands maybe than than you and uh, Deborah would be. But uh, what what sort of things are you looking for? I'm pretty. I'm kind of looking for the whole package. But what I mainly focus on is the uh, showmanship, um, how they interact with the crowd, how they uh, you know what they do on stage, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, Deborah is is more of kind of like the vocal vocal coach, kind of, and uh, Ron Fair is the, he just picks everything apart. Yeah, no. <laughs> he, he's, more, he's more of the, the, you know, how did you interpret the, the music. Right. Yeah, I've seen him, and he, he's a little more tougher, but I guess he's just being honest, and in the end, any type of criticism is going to help the, the acts, eh? That's right. He's being honest, and, and, you know, he's an executive, and, you know, me and Deborah as artists, you, you can't really be mean to another artist because, you know, me and Deborah have many have had many a moments where we just weren't that good on stage. Um, and, you know, it's from the feedback you get from the audience, from feedback you get from yourself after you watch it, that helps you and moves you forward. So, you know, you, you want to keep you want to keep the artists on stage hopeful. You know, we don't want to bash them and tell them they're no good. We want to kind of like, you know, support them, mm-hmm. hold them up. Thank you so much for that, uh, Jordan. And tomorrow, we'll talk with Jordan again. A little more on what's coming up as far as future plans are concerned for him as well as the new kids on the block. That's tomorrow on The Breakfast Club with Jordan Knight of the New Kids on the Block.